Hi everyone, it's Elsie here and I just realised I forgot to put the Citrus Twist logo before this little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm really sorry about that. But this layout was made for Citrus Twist. I'm no longer on their design team, um, which I'm really, really sad about. August was my last last month with them, which is what kits I'm using for this video. Um, yeah, no, no, like nothing bad about Citrus Twist or anything like that. Just um, fancy to change, and yeah, there are so many, only so many hours in the day, and I couldn't do both. So, um, yeah, I love Citrus Twist, and we'll miss their kits every month. Um, but this August kit was incredible. It was just beautiful. Um, it was full of loads of Maggie Holmes carousel bits and pieces. So that's basically what I'm using for this layout and I think this layout is actually one of my all-time favorites um, because it was kind of a little bit out of my comfort zone um, and also it's uh, Maggie Holmes Create Paper Carousel collection which I'm slightly obsessed with <laughs> um, but yeah so I am using that um, carousel top paper I can't remember what it's called um, but as my background I'm using it as my background I'm not using white cardstock and I know I can't believe it either um, I <laughs> this is it's really funny how like stuff like that happens because I just sort of saw it and then was like oh I don't know how I'd ever use that um, in a way where I could make sense of it and then it was the first Thing I used basically <laughs> when I made when I you know opened the kit so you know it's nice to be able to prove yourself wrong um, so yes the background um, it's beautiful it's just lovely um, but I think it's quite unique and quite um, slightly out there because um, the only bit that's really in focus is the little horse on top of the carousel roof um so you know it's quite a statement piece i'd say so um to try and make sense of it in my head and to kind of contain the pattern i thought okay let's kind of make like a shadow box frame because i was really tempted just to plop like plop the whole 12 by 12 piece that's just not good not good way to describe um that but yes I wanted to put it in a frame because it was really pretty and then I thought aha light bulb moment um I could make a frame and sort of use that as a background see how that worked so I just did a bit of cameo work I cut a one inch border out of some white paper and also that little um swirly thing <laughs> um from white cardstock as well and yeah I just love the way it looked um so I just went with it um yeah and I'm really happy with how it turned out I just yeah I just I'm kind of proud of myself for not using white cardstock um I need to try and get braver with um using pattern paper because I don't know I just I, the thing is white cardstock makes everything look good which is the problem but I feel like pattern paper is so beautiful and I have so much of it that I should just use it as a background um because I felt very I felt very um encouraged by this layout so yeah I think that's another reason why it's one of my favorites so I I think this was actually a oh I went a bit high pitched there <laughs> I think this was actually a bit um of not a bit of it was a sketch challenge maybe I'll leave a link to the blog post at Citrus Twist um, I think it was because I wouldn't have ever thought to put my photo up there but I think yeah the sketch was the photo was up in like that top left corner and I would never have thought to put it um, there but it just worked there because I usually like to have my photo um, kind of not really not separated like it is in this page um kind of my natural instinct would be to put it towards the bottom like amongst the little um you know like the ticket stand ephemera piece and all that so um yeah i'm quite 
proud of myself for um, again stepping out of my comfort zone but I really love the way the kites look the kites just kind of ground it ground like the um, the photo um, so yeah and <laughs> the you might have noticed that there was um, in the photo there was another person in the photo but they weren't even in focus and I don't know who they were um, so this was a photo of me when I was very little and it's like me jumping on a bouncy castle so I thought that would work quite well with this kind of whole carnival and fun fair and thing and my photos in the air so I'm jumping in the air it just made sense in my head so um, the other person just looked weird and I can't honestly remember who they were so and they weren't in focus so I don't feel too bad about you know covering their face with a kite um, <laughs> uh, talking of the kites I stitched round them um, in some coordinating thread just to because otherwise I wouldn't have had any hand stitching on this layout so um, had to I had to hand stitch um, I can't actually remember the last time I made a layout without some sort of stitching in it I don't think it will ever happen um, so I suppose that would be a good challenge for myself but I just just don't think I'd ever do that I would never do that to myself <laughs> um, yeah so I'm just playing around with everything um, this layout kind of I think came together pretty easily because the background paper dictated where everything should go and also had the sketch so um, yeah it just it's just trying to get a balance of everything a balance of colors and making sure it's not too busy it is quite a busy layout but uh, you know I wanted it to feel light and airy still without my white cardstock so yeah I yeah I'm just using all the ephemera and chipboard again I think we got the, we got the ephemera pack from carousel and a 12 by 12 chipboard maybe in the add-on kit and then we also got in one of the kits a embellishment pack from Kaiser craft I think um, and I used a few bits and pieces from that like that little pink bike um, I needed some pink over on that left side and that little bike just looks adorable there so yeah I oh my clouds I haven't talked about my clouds I of course couldn't stay too far away from clouds on this layout um, I used vellum well not really actually vellum um, tracing paper which is basically thin vellum and it's a lot cheaper um, <laughs> it's not obviously as nice as vellum but it you know it does a job and I have it on hand a lot so um, yeah I just I didn't want the white clouds I just wanted something a bit transparent and subtle and I just stuck that on with my the glue in my fine line bottle which is in packs or impex tacky glue I'll leave a link to it below um yeah and I love that glue because it dries clear and it's really strong so I think I end up pulling the cloud above the tickets or I've already pulled it up and it pulled some of the past paper so I knew I needed to get something there to cover that um so I think I use yeah one of those sequin stars <laughs> so yeah and you can see the where I just stuck that cloud on near the bunting um, you can kind of see the glue but once it dries it's really not that visible and yeah I don't I don't mind if you can see a tiny bit of glue it's fine um, especially because like I said the glue that I use dries clear so I am now that I'm not on the Citrus Twist team, I'm really going to miss all their puffy stickers because um, they always had really awesome puffy stickers. And these ones I loved. I loved the little birds on it. Um, and they just look really cute on top of the ice cream cart. And it just kind of reminded me how, like, if you were at, I don't know, I always think of the beach when I think of like carousels and things because I live in Brighton um, in the UK, which has you know like um, the pier and carousel on the beach and all that kind of stuff 
Um, so I always think of like seagulls just like swarming around you when you have food. Um, yeah, and it's just now the finishing bits and pieces really. Um, I scattered the bottom with a few tickets from both the Maggie Holmes ephemera and the Kayser Craft ephemera. Um, and I really love the way that looks, it just goes with the whole theme really well and it just adds, like it was looking a bit bare at the bottom I thought and it just balanced everything out I think. And I love how the ephemera pack comes with um, little sequins, like it's just such a nice touch. Um, but also do you know what the really sad thing was, I didn't realise you got buttons in the, um, <laughs> in the ephemera pack and mine didn't come with buttons which I was sad about but it's fine I got the gold stars which is the most important thing um so yeah that's everything I hope you enjoy this layout and I hope you like it I feel quite nervous about it I don't know why um I think because obviously I haven't got the white cardstock background but yes I will leave a link to everything below and yeah any questions anything at all you want to comment let me know and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.